Coming up on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look. I just told Opal that she can't come up because she's been eating popcorn. <laughs> oh, she just went down. You just missed the squished face looking over. Oh, there it is. The squished face. Here's a dolly. <laughs> looking over and her, fa her lips were basically completely squished. What is it that you're trying to get, Opal? Do you want more popcorn or something? She wants to be close to mommy. And you weren't even allowed to have popcorn. But guess who gave it to you? You did? No. You did? I gave her one puffed kernel. And? But I didn't give her... Created a monster. <laughs> I didn't... And now she's hoping she's going to get more. See? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you should hide. There you go. <laughs> okay, so here's my little video diary of our very first night in our fifth wheel. I could not be happier. I feel like I am living in the lap of luxury in every single way. This place is so beautiful. The bed is amazing. I have a 15 pound weighted blanket. If you've ever tried that kind of thing before, they're amazing. And it's almost midnight, I think. Um, anyways, so on tomorrow and um, hoping to get to Winnipeg so that we can take a flight to Montreal from there. So good night, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. When we were driving into Hope, just seconds away, we saw a fire on a hillside starting, like burning fire. Literally, it looked like it had just started recently. Like, how, how soon would you say, honey? Minutes. Yeah, like it had just started. So we called in to 911. They said that they had gotten a call, that they were, that they had people ready to go, um, and they were contacting the BC wildfires. Anyways, that's it this morning, and it doesn't look good. This is minutes from hope. To me, that is not looking very good. That is that is unbelievable. It's right here. Like, we're going to the Tim Hortons at Hope here, and this is what we're looking at. And uh, Ryan's just forwarded me the video that he took last night when we were driving by. Yeah, that little fire is something else. We learned the next day that it grew to 50 hectares in one night. That's twice the size of our island. And we also found out that there's 45 firefighters working on it and five helicopters. This was a really big deal. We were also told this fire is man-made. What a shame. That's just... Wow, that little fire has sure grown overnight. Good thing it's not that windy though. Look how the smoke is just staying there. If it was really windy, this thing would grow like crazy. Look at that, honey. So we're on the road again. So excited as we head off to Montreal. Do you like sitting here? Do you like this trailer? <laughs> so we are in Montreal. We've had an appointment here. Um, so we took an RV to Winnipeg and flew to Montreal and then we'll be going back tomorrow. 
So it's just a quick jaunt, but we stopped by Un Couleur and they have <laughs> they have crepes, omelets, that kind of thing. So I am so hungry today and so I'm going to be having an omelet and a crepe. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the omelet. It's a child's meal, actually, the omelet was. So you're my baby. So, oh, So I will show you what that looks like as soon as it comes and oh, we're looking forward to it. This is what we just ordered. What do you think, honey? <laughs> That's a good one. Was yeah. it called the Helsinki? Helsinki, yeah. Smoked salmon, sun dried tomatoes, mushrooms, spinach, and hollandaise figs. Mmm, mm, nice. So then coming over here, I just have a child's sized cheese omelet. <laughs> but the reason for that is because I'm getting something very special at the end of this. And it's going to be a sweet. Great. So that's why I'm not having that much for my main meal because I think it's going to be very, very filling. The waiter actually said, if when you're done your omelet, you decide that you don't want to go ahead with the other, let me know. Da 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 da. Say tray bowl. <laughs> that. That's what I've waited for. That looks really nice. It does look really good. I'm going to try it out. Ryan's is coming in a moment. Give me a big smile. <laughs> okay, so that's how that ended. <laughs> and, okay, he actually got his much later than me. It's pretty good. What Best grape ever, actually. Yeah, exactly. Peanut butter, chocolate, strawberry, banana. My goodness, honey. And that's the way that story ended. So pretty much the same story here. Much carnage here. Yeah. <laughs> Un couleur. Montreal was a lot of fun. My only regret is leaving my tooth in the hotel room somewhere. We never did find it. That was one tough pizza. Here's our cozy little home tonight. I'm a traveling spirit. I've seen many. So we made it to Brandon, Manitoba. And we're in the lovely little RV park. Um, we don't have time constraints now, so we're just here in our lovely little home. Away from home. It really is quite beautiful. With all the amenities, we've even got an ice maker, which I love for my shakes, what have you. Ryan's doing some books. He's outside getting Starlink organized. And I just had a massage on that chair. There's a little area for Opal. And we just vacuumed. We have a lovely vacuum built in over there. It's just like, this is just the perfect scene. Loving it. Oh, a TV pops up over top of that fireplace. Because I don't always like having it up. So, it's a nice feature. Good night, everyone. This is something really neat. A neat little feature here. Look at this. Isn't this neat? It's lovely, honey. Yeah. Bowls. Oh yes, a place for the spatula. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great though? It's a it's a dishwasher. And there is a compartment for a little bit of soap. Did we bring oh no, that's for the toilet, honey. This is? Yeah. What's this? We're gonna find the soap. 
the soap is. Is that what this is? That one there, that big cascade. And then we just put one little pellet in there. Like that? Yeah. Close it up. And there we go, that's it. And look at our lovely view. Boy, is it Isn't it so pretty? It's just like nothing but green. Just beautiful all around. Okay, so you know how like when you're going through Tim Hortons and the thought goes, maybe I shouldn't have an ice cap? So just to let you know, Tim Hortons is Canada's iconic donut shop and ice caps are things I shouldn't be having because they're so unhealthy and bad for you. So this is what you do instead. You get one with almond milk and then you think twice about it and then you say to yourself, how do I say that I got an ice cap without the normal cream without saying that I got an ice cap without the normal cream? Aww, look at our little doggy. Every morning, Melody and I get together and do a little reading, and Opal likes to be part of it. She knows she can't be up on the couch, but she has to be close to us. Well, close to her mummy. Talk about total love. Ryan's going off to use the washroom. Let's see what happens when he comes back. Honey, come back in. See if it happens. Okay. <laughs> See if she'll do it. Oh. Last time she growled at him when no. he did that. Other donuts. Okay. What we're doing today in Canada. <laughs> Smile cookies. I'm smiling. <laughs> so. <laughs> he lost a tooth in in Montreal as he was sitting in the hotel. Oh, we no. never did find it. No, never did find it. <laughs> The reveal. That's what they should look like. Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple. Yeah, uh, we got them for Opal. So we're traveling and we have a friend as we go. I can't. <laughs> like any valuable gem, this is going to need a little polish to reveal its true luster. Today is an exciting day because after coming to the same place that we're driving into today, <laughs> we are picking up a very special piece of our island right here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So we've just driven in to Vintage Stove Restoration. We're excited about this because we came in with a very, very special little treasure, too, actually. And now we are coming to pick it up. And I think that might be it. Hello. Hi, Shane. <laughs> so. This is Shane and he's done a very, very special thing for us. So we're excited. You're hard at her, aren't you? 
Uh oh, I got something for you. Uh oh. Yeah, take that hat off. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my wild home. There it That's is. That's pretty. <laughs> Gonna cover up my bald spot now. Oh, that looks really good on you. I know, I can tell. It does, it looks really great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all your hard work. We're excited about this. Okay, okay. so what do we have here? So this will be the front. Okay. Remember, I sent you the picture in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. Could you believe that, honey? No. That is incredible. That that is unbelievable. That Jeez. can't even be the same stove. That is unreal. It is. That's the same stove. This guy is amazing. Oh, and he's even got a pipe and everything. And a damper. But look at that craftsmanship. Let, let's just make sure that we get this kind of correct. I didn't create anything. I'm just a guy that cleaned it up. <laughs> well, if somebody else had gone through the trouble to carve all those pieces out of wood and then create that and then put that together as pieces and oh cast goodness. them. All I've basically had to do was clean them. Well, I don't Are you? Easy, no, you're so yeah. modest. You're amazing, yeah, seriously. Yeah, you have to give credit for credit. Dude, you rebuilt this whole thing here. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. So, Honey, it's so beautiful. How do you open it? Oh yeah, it's all rebuilt inside. Wow. Okay, this is too much. You could actually put a little tiny teapot on here. Put a teapot right Yeah. Okay, this, okay, well, the before and afters are you so shocking. Did not expect it to look like this? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. This is far more beautiful than I thought. This is unbelievable, Shane. Yeah, no. This far exceeds our expectations. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Worth, worth the wait, then? Yes. And the torture? How does well, this thing work? Oh, it just, I see it. It's just a little bit. It keeps your fingers from burning on the edge of it. Right. Oh, I see. What is this for here? A damper? It's a damper here? Um, yeah, it's called a spin graph. So you spin it open. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. So now I can suck air from in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is unreal, Penny. I can't get over all this here. Remember when I was saying when I was really hoping that it would be beautiful and shiny? Look at the difference with the legs. Where did you come across new legs? Well, I saved your old ones. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some parts, Eddie. Oh. That was one of your original <laughs> legs. But that's what they had you had in there for Micah, right there. That was your Micah windows right there. Oh my god. And that was your spring that you had on your door. That was the spring there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know if you need these for boat anchors or something. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> the fire pot when I had to get it cast, it looks like this when I send it to the foundry in, in Wisconsin. Yeah. And is that a release agent on it? Uh, no, the, the release agent is what they're going to put on there. Okay. I, had to, I had to paint it so the release agent comes off. Okay. Right? Um, because just sending raw cast iron, like a release agent on that will still leave. Yeah. So I paint it. I see. So it's in there just look like foundry. But I don't get this back. So when I send it down to the foundry, I, it doesn't come back. Right. I just get the one because it's already $268 to ship it down. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, indeed. And then the, it's another uh, $268 to ship it back. And then it's what the, the foundry wants to charge you. And all the prep work I had to do to that to get it ready to go down there. Yeah. So I just cannot believe this. This is so pretty. It is so pretty. And how that comes around like that. What is that? Is that called at the top here? It's called crown and finial. Okay. This is a finial here, right? Yeah. It's so royal. 
So this, um, just as a funny footnote, um, I have uh, the original catalog information, so I'll give you a copy of that. Yeah. Wow, I should have double checked, but they made uh, probably six different sizes, all exactly the same. So then they took a picture of them, so they were all stacked up in, in the different heights of the work, mm -hmm. and they sh showed you that what they originally sold for. And if I'm not mistaken, this would have sold for uh, twelve to fourteen dollars <laughs> originally. Oh. Uh, they got this fancy right here. <coughs> no. No, of course not. Yeah. I, I install those in that position because that's where I want them to, to, to run. To, because if you put the damper down here, what happens is the, the heat will make that pin warp. Warp. And then it does work. So I see. I like to up okay. Wow. Oh boy. Just so this is exactly the way the <coughs> showroom 100 years ago. All the screws are turned exactly the same way. Yeah, I see that. Oh, wow. Every detail. So what's wow. in there? Brand new ash box. So wow. that's where the ashes fall yeah. from the... Fire above. Uh, yeah, because they, they fall through the grates of the firebox. Okay. The troopers. Oh, nice. If you open this door up here and look inside. I didn't realize it had a shaker. That's fantastic. Oh, it shakes. See, and then you can see that it's designed to put this way to ash or so. Oh, how neat. Yeah. Okay. So even when there's logs sitting up on top of there, you can exactly, just shake them through. Exactly <laughs> that, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. That's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, once you is. once you have it up and running, like the, really the, the best way to, to use the stove is to open it up here. Mm -hmm. Put your kindling, start in here, and a little bit of paper, whatever you've got to start. Mm -hmm. Get your fire going in there, but take a piece of newspaper that's and put it up, and put it up the yeah. chimney a little bit, and that'll, that'll get your draw started. Right? Oh, okay. And then it'll start to suck the, the smoke out. Okay. And that'll keep it from entering into the cabin, which is not, you know, where you want the smoke there so much. Yeah. Um, so once you get it fired up in there, then you just have to, to go north, shut that down. You can open these here up so you can get a little bit of air to go through. Oh, they do both like that. Okay. So you want it to suck air from those cold airs in the floor, you want it to breathe. Yeah. Right? And then what you're going to go on, you want to get this down as far as you can to, to, to slow the burn down, right? Then once you slow it down, you tighten these up, and then that'll, that'll keep it from sucking air from everywhere else, because it's all going to cement together. You know what I just realized? is that there's little tiny windows. We can see the fire glowing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that would be a possibility. Because there's nothing better than to see a glowing fire. Absolutely, that, that you're to totally right. There are many, many people, like even that big one that's over here to the right, that guy that purchased that one wants me to build a screen so he can open the door and just click the screen in and then just... Just, just look at it, yeah. Oh, that is just grand. It really is. Yeah, we're thrilled. We're thrilled, Shane. It'll be a workhorse for you. Just the only thing that we want to make sure is you don't touch this with water. No water on this the part? The computer finish, yeah. Oh. Oops, sorry. Nope. Oh, okay. This here part? Um, if somebody puts a coffee cup down or a bottle of water, so you can see a little ring of Oh, just, oh. Just steel wool. Okay. That's all the maintenance is. Is that what the water does, is create rust? Yeah. Oh, right away, hey? Okay. Um, but the polish that's on here, that brings out that real pretty blue, 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 yeah. blue finish, right? Yeah, all yeah. The time. Um, but uh, like I say, water is the enemy and just a dry cloth. Is okay, we'll get on that right away if something happens ever. Okay, that's so, wonderful. If you do see anything, like I said, just, uh, just very, very fine, ultra fine steel wool. Yeah, okay, good. Ultra fine steel wool, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Practice. practice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it's such a lovely finish. We're getting ready for a nice trip to the island. And he's so tender. You're precious. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That way there. Ryan, if you want to back your truck up to the door up here, buddy, then we can go through this stuff here. Sure. Hold that back there. That's some problem. Perfect. Okay, so what are we going to do with pipes? Are they okay in the back? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. This is the way it should sit in the okay. truck, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't say in the fifth wheel because it could go smashing around. Yeah, we'll put a seat belt on it. Yeah. Like it was made for it. <laughs> Sitting so nice and quiet there. We'll put the seat belt on it. I hope he doesn't cause as much trouble as a seat mate. Buckle in. Buckle in. What do you have there, honey? Grandma. <laughs> Grandma was naughty. <laughs> we restrained her a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. See ya. That's yes. Okay, so thanks Shane for everything. You're very welcome. Okay, talk to you later. Just be safe. Drive you, careful. You betcha. Thanks. What a beautiful day it is. So as I was lying in our trailer, I was thinking, who would have a campfire right now? So I got up, looked at little Opal out here, and then went, man, it sure smells weird. Well, literally the entire hill across from us appears to be on fire and smoking. So we might want to leave a little early today. Hopefully get this under control. Where's Opa? There she is. There's a little dog. <laughs> There's a dog. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, we completed our mission. We've collected our stove, and now we're heading back to the island. I just got to show you the process here again. It's just unreal. Wait, let me close it up because you wouldn't have believed how cool it looked. Let's get these off. They really are dying of overcompensation. I think these are suffering heat exhaustion. <laughs> like, oh honey, they're not even usable. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Oh, I let me say, put this up here. I would say for sure not they are. I would say for sure they are. I would say absolutely zero chance. Look at these things, eh? Yeah, those are beauty. What do you think of that? Huh? I gotta take one more picture of this. Whoa! Look at that!
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.